Alright, so today we're going to be talking about the derivative of cosecant of x. Uh, the derivative of cosecant of x is pretty similar to the derivative of secant of x, tangent of x, and cotangent of x in that you need to know certain sine and cosine properties and you need to know how to use the quotient rule. Okay, So let's start off by just writing dy over dx, also known as the derivative of cosecant of x. Now, we can replace cosecant of x with 1 over sine x. This is one of those sine properties that you should probably know, and if you don't know, you know it now, right? And then we can use the quotient rule to derive 1 over sine x. So we take the derivative of the numerator, 0, times the denominator, sine of x, subtract it, we take the derivative of the denominator, that's cosine of x, and multiply that by the numerator. All over the denominator squared. Okay? And now, uh, this just turns to zero because anything times zero is zero. So we end up with negative cosine of x over sine squared x. Now we're going to do what we did in the uh, secant of x derivative video that you can find here, and we're going to split this up into two different uh, fractions. So let's, uh, let's have negative cosine of x over sine of x, and then let's multiply that by 1 over sine of x. So essentially we just uh, took a sine of x out of the denominator, and we multiplied it across, and then we just took this imaginary one and we made a whole nother fraction. And with this, we can simplify these into terms of cotangent, uh, secant, and I'm pretty sure this turns into negative cotangent of x, and this one turns into uh, cosecant of x. See, from up here. And that is the derivative of cosecant of x. It's pretty simple. Ooh, it's the end screen. Click on one of these links to be directed to that playlist. And don't forget to subscribe!